Okay, I'm gonna leave where I left off. I actually need to shut the video off, but you have two lower incisors on this guy. Really wish I could focus on it. We have two lower incisors. And yeah, it's just not gonna focus. These two lower incisors and what looks like you really have it where you guys can count it. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. He has six molars. See one, two, three, four, five, six. You can clearly see that there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, really, really, really small uh, bones on these guys for the mole rat and the uh, Balerina carolensis. So this is Balerina carolensis with a really small arch there. And this guy, um, he's also really fragile. Um, he doesn't even have like a complete skull, but you can see the little arch looks like it got knocked off on this guy too um, but it's been glued together a lot so it's hard this skull is just really hard to see so this this is like one of the smallest specimens we have it's probably gonna be this scalpus aquaticus or uh, scalp scalpus aquaficus scalpus aquaticus so what is the blurina carolinensis look on this thing blurina Carolinensis is the southern short tail shrew, which is related to the Scalopus aquaticus. Um, so these guys are on the insectivora order, and I'll pause this for a second. Okay, sorry, how many issues with my camera here? Fucking getting it rolling on this. But this Ballerina Carolinensis, I've said it five times. So if you don't know what this little tiny mole rat looking thing that's black is, um, Blarina carolinensis, and it may not just be black, it might be a gray one or something, but it's, it looks like a mole, tiny hands. It's gonna be, uh, this guy. The a Southern a Short Sail Shoe. Insectivora. And how does this mammal kill its prey? Um, how do you think these guys kill their prey? Uh, do you see little sharp teeth on these guys? So let's see. Um, it looks like it eats it. I'm gonna guess it bites it. <laughs> it's kind of got some sharp teeth on here, but refer to the book for that. I don't really have time to look that up and film all these, so it looks like it bites them. So we can look up how does Ballerina carolinensis kill its prey in that little mammal book, and I can do all that stuff later. I'm trying to get all this stuff, so what does Fossorial refer to you? And does this mammal kill its prey? So I'm guessing Fossorial refers to the just the eastern mole, the Scalopus aquaticus, right here on this guy, who's that tiny school. But I'm going to move on to Didelphomorpha. And you're wondering what that is? Well, there's only two things in that that we really have to know. Didelphomorpha is New World Opossums, which is just Didelphidae, and Virginia Opossum. The Virginia opossum was, is Didelphus virginiana, which on this guy, this looks like we're, this is the only, uh... oh wait, I'm retarded. Uh, this is an opossum, this is an armadillo. So where's the armadillo? It's Xenartha. Xen I was getting it mixed up with those guys over there, the uh, Virginia opossum right there. So, scratch that, we're in Xenarthra. Xenarthra, think of this, if you know Xena the warrior, got armor on. That's how I'm gonna remember Xenarthra. Xena the warrior, Amazonian warrior. But anyways, armadillos are daisy podiae. Podidae, daisy podidae. Assuming I'm saying that right, but I guess the only one we have to know is a nine-banded armadillo which one two three four five six seven eight nine maybe it goes one two three four five six seven eight nine 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's one of those, or maybe it's on the tail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's definitely not the tail. So I'm guessing it's the bands right here. But this being the first band, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, which makes more sense to me. Uh, and then you have the butt. So there's really like 10, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. But they're only counting the first down to the last. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's what I'm going to go, going to go off of. I don't know if that's right, but there's 9 bands here. So 9 banded armadillo would be uh, this guy. Da Daisy Puss. Daisy Puss. Novmictus, I can't even say this. Daisy Puss Novmictus, Mcn, November, Mc, and Cetus. For this guy, non-banded armadillo is, is Daisy Puss Nov, Mc, I N. Kates. The you can remember that with Daisy Puss Novem, like you're gonna say November, Sin, and then Katas. Or whatever you want to do to remember that, but that's this guy. It's the only armadillo I think we have to know. Um, but look at the long nose. You can even tell the how this is kind of going to fit in this guy. Like this. Has this long nose, uh, the little eye openings really small. You don't have any pointy pieces coming off. It's like almost like a looks like a dolphin, you could say. Let's do the teeth for the dichotomous key. There's on this one, he's completely missing his front up here, but I'm guessing they don't have any teeth up here because that would be the nose unless the teeth are directly under your nose. You can't really tell with this guy but he has like a, a pig snout looking thing. So kind of like that. He has his mouth sewed up so you can't really see his teeth. I don't even think there's a skull in there honestly. There may be but probably not. It looks like they stuffed him. But uh, obviously Armadillo is an Artha. And what is this? Daisy Post Nov MC IN Katus. Now made an armadillo. They have one, two, three, four, five little digits. One, two, three, four, five digits. They, um, hopefully this one doesn't, but what is unusual with the babies and all, and what diseases can it carry? I think the diseases it carries. It, or it can carry. This one obviously doesn't. It wouldn't be in the lab, but it's leprosy, I think. And what is unusual about the babies of this mammal? Um, they come out fully formed, and they can even stay fully formed in here for about two months. So they have the armor and everything. They're completely formed. Uh, the, so they're, they're held within here, completely formed. Most things are born, and then they grow up. These guys grow up inside, and then they come out fully formed. They're they're completely formed, and they. They roam around and they grow and they eat and they follow the mom around for a while, I think. Uh, so they kind of have a, I forget what it's called, where the mother takes care of the young. I want to say, but they come out fully formed. And I have another video where I answered this question right here from the book. So you can go back to that one. And I'll put it in a playlist, but... That was this guy, Daisy Puss Nov McIntus Katus. And let's count, go back to counting the teeth. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I want to say zero upper and, and lower incisors just because we only have half the skull here. You could probably Google a better skull. I have no idea what this is. It's gross. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Um, those look like little nerve endings or something, I'm not really sure. But here you have the breathing hole again. It goes all the way to the nasal cavity here to intake air so it can chew while it breathes. Um, doesn't seem like they, they're they going to be chewing really hard because they don't have like a very strong air jaw over here. It doesn't really look like they would have a strong jaw to begin with, but yeah. Obviously, you're going to see this, you're going to know it's armadillo because we're only studying one and they look like dolphins. Um, but if he wants you to dichotomous key it, they have seven teeth over here, I think. Let me make sure counting that right one two three four five six seven teeth on the right and left sides I guess you could technically call technically call those upper incisors but I wouldn't because those would be more up here and they don't have any um, so you turn like that you don't see any teeth you turn like that you see seven you turn like that you see seven so I would guess the bottom would mirror that and there'd be seven uh, lower molars uh, I don't really know how they determine the difference between premolars and molars but um, seven so I would just say seven I don't think that those I just think those are openings um, but yeah that's this guy it's pretty easy to determine and you have weird openings like that it looks like you're holding a dolphin in your hand that's the little di daisy poses no make in Tests. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's leprosy, but double check that on the book. I'm gonna move on to the next station. And we're kind of going backwards here to what looks like another little rodent. Um, I'm not sure if it is a rodent, but we have Geo. Geomis. Breviceps. So Geomis breviceps is what this looks like. Um, this was found in Chapel Hill, a little bit outside Tyler. But you can see it looks almost like a beaver in a way. Uh, what does the question say? Baird's pocket gopher. So this is a gopher. Um, oh, it's squishy. Geomis breviceps. Uh, doesn't look like it says anything else on this guy. Um, Baird. Baird's pocket gopher, pocket gopher, Geomis Rebiceps. So it looks like someone left their note card in here. I don't think this was even written by the teacher, but hey, that helps. Uh, we have a scalpel here, which is kind of creepy. I don't think that should be laying out, but um, I'm guessing this is what goes with this guy because there's nothing else around. Um, but again, the name Geomis Rebiceps. Let's find that guy on here. So, here's something interesting. Pocket gophers are Geomidae. Um, so look at what Geomidae is. I don't know if that's a, I guess it's a genus. So I guess genus species. Uh, Geomidae must be a genus family or something like that. I know this is the order. Uh, I think it's genus and species. We need to know, for the test it says to know, Class order family, common name, the exact common name. Scientific name spelled correctly, so I'm guessing that's a genus and species. Going to scientific name. Recognize it, recognize it by the skin and the skull. Anatomy, anything unusual. Teeth, behavior, time of day active. Outlook, emote, social. Uh, so it's pretty obvious how most of these guys are going to move around. Um, but I'm going to go back to this to try to find this guy right here. And notice the tail. It's slightly hairy. This looks like its tail got lobbed off a little bit during taxidermy. Uh, but we have Geomius. Geom Geomius. Breviceps. Which is right here. And that's the Beard's pop Pocket Gopher. We already went to that. Um, but pocket gophers are geomidae. And let's get this guy's skull out of here. So we can look at it. So, remember I said he kind of looks like, almost like a beaver, and he's really similar. It's a pocket gopher. 
uh, Baird's pocket gopher, but okay, they have those things in the teeth that I'll get to later. Um, kind of stripes down the teeth, so their upper incisors are really weird, and that they look like two separate teeth, but they're really. You can see from the back, they're really just one tooth on this side and one on the other side. See what I mean? But you take it to front, it's like four separate teeth. Yeah. Security did. Two, three, four. Did you not have a note? Thingy. I had a note, I just wasn't gonna. Three, two, okay. Do you have answers for all the questions? Uh, most of them. I don't know what this goes to. So Daisy Podia, the non-bending armadillo, Daisy Podius Hovim, and it does comes out quadruplets. Sweet. So I think that's all the answers to most of these. What is like a location? You know what a location is? There's a little skull of a bat. Like aliens. One, two fangs. Two upper incisors. One, two, three lower incisors. Actually, there's two upper and three lower incisors.
that was cool. I was just looking at was Tadarita brasiliensis. Five digits. Um, pair this guy to and this guy with darker wings. Uh, tail must be missing in this model. Yeah, it's missing. You can see where it would attach right there. Claws on the bottom of their wings. There and there. So these guys. And this is. Sirius Borealis. So both these guys use the echolocation, obviously. What is the flap of skin that stretches between the rear legs and the tail called? Interfemoral membrane. Yeah, centrifugal membrane allows it to glide, fly, and bats. Um, Elsimid Smeola. We also have Lacerius borealis. To Tetarida Brasilensis. Let's look at the bats that we have to know. It's gonna be these guys. Red bat. Lasterus Borealis, not this guy. Um, I guess it's this guy. Is this the red rat? I'm oh, not rat, bat. It's the. the which one is this? Lasterus Borealis, this guy, right? I, think, I feel like the these red are. Bat with the common name. Lasterus Borealis, the skull right here. I don't know which one it goes with, though. And this. I'm trying to think. So, red bat. This is the red bat. So, this is. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is red. Lasurius borealis. This, this guy. is the myotis. What threw me off is the L. Seminola in here. He didn't label uh, it right. It's, it's mislabeled. I think it is too. This guy's not even labeled. Do you know which one this is? It's definitely the Lacidae. It's the, uh, the Brazilian free tailed. Okay, yeah. Uh, free tailed. And the little guy is, I'm guessing... Uh, so the way that I'm going to tell between them is that if it has the tail, it's the Brazilian free tail. Yeah. This guy's supposed to have a tail thing. I think it just broke off. Well, they, they all have a yeah, tail, yeah. right? It's just that this one, it's a free tail because the interfemoral flap doesn't connect to it. Okay. Uh, this one has fur. I see what you're saying right here. So I, I'm gonna use these two things for the the three bats, right? Yeah, this like, one. Like the tail is red is free. And it's not connected to the. It's the not flap. fuzzy like this one. The flap has fur. The flap does not have fur. It's not fur. So these guys would be similar, but wait, do we only have to know two bats? You have to know three. Three. All three of those. You know what the little one is? It's the um, Neotis uh, Australopithecus. Oh, the southern Neotis. Okay. Yeah. Which, hmm. You should remember southeastern, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you put southern, he's gonna, he's gonna take points southeastern off. Southeastern for sure. 
On this guy, do you know any identifying characteristics? Anything in particular that Mitch, um, Mitch so, might have told I you? Mean, that, that's what I'm saying is that those are the three that yeah. I'm going to use. I'm not going to learn any of the others because you don't need yeah. it. He has a tail within. Well, they all have a tail. Femoral, right? but yeah, it doesn't extend out. to the interfemoral flap. Mm -hmm. And both of these guys. Yeah. And this one's pretty distinguishable. Okay, I see what you're saying. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, on these three, I think it's fairly easy. I'm not that worried about them because, like, I'm not going to be trying to remember how many canines they have or anything yeah. else except because you have these retail really fur easy. on the flap, no fur. Yeah, and both. Okay, it's, it's interfemoral. Uh, why am I forgetting that? Interfemoral membrane between the tails. This is one of the two I haven't actually looked at yet. This yeah. is not here. No, this guy has a furry tail. Yeah, it's not asking about this one when it's on these questions. I think, I think I'm on about this. It's those three. Yeah. Redis, redis. I think, yeah, I don't think these do go over here. Uh, yeah.
gain strength, but it reduces the weight of their skull, so they don't. Uh, Is that in the, the book? All for rabbits? That's what they were saying. Just finestration? Yeah. Okay. So it just helps them maintain balance, I'm guessing? No, it's not balance. It's, um, it helps them reduce the weight of their skull so that they can run without needing extra support. Oh, you're talking about this right here? This thing? Or are you talking about this? It's in a wedding light bone structure. It's this. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, there's less dense bone there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's less dense. I see but, what you're saying about fenestration. You know, I was like, fenestration is like a texturized thing. Okay. Yeah. You know, it literally means windows. But... Okay. Awesome. Thanks, man. You can tell that you've asked Mitch quite a bunch. Sorry? I can tell you've been asking questions, man. Uh, you know, your stuff's pretty well. Here. 